The other day I was watching the documentary of the 2003 Columbia Space Shuttle disaster. A horrific accident. And here's what the US president at the time said at a press conference. The same creator who names the stars also knows the names of the seven souls we mourn today. The crew of the shuttle Columbia did not return safely to Earth. Hold on, let's rewind this. The same creator who names the stars. I think what the president didn't realize was the fact that most of the star names are Arabic. This list just goes on and on and on. Then you may be wondering, how could the Arabic language make such an impact in astronomy? Well, in this video, we'll discuss some ancient civilizations that brought significant impacts in our understanding of modern astronomy. We'll go through this alphabetically, so we'll start the number one with the Arab civilization. During the medieval period, scientists in the Islamic world had made many contributions to astronomy. They updated the methods for measuring the movements of celestial bodies, and continued to develop the models of the universe. Between the 8th and 10th century, Baghdad was a major center for astronomy. During this time, scientists translated studies in Sanskrit, Greek, and Pahlavi into Arabic for the first time. By taking advantage of existing research, the medieval astronomers learned the methods to track the position of celestial bodies. And at the time, there were the Sun, the Moon, and the five known planets. Since the Islamic calendar is a lunar calendar, Arabic researchers learned about the passage of the Sun and the Moon in the sky. Number two. Ancient Babylonia. Their biggest accomplishment was undoubtedly this, the design and creation of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. But not only that, they also made major contributions in other fields. Astronomy had an important influence in Babylonian culture, in which they developed a new empirical approach to science. Some scholars refer to it as the first scientific revolution in astronomy, as this way was later adopted and refined by the Greeks. Because most of their studies are in the form of clay tablets, there are not many resources left from the Babylonian era that we could find today. But, according to a newly translated tablet, ancient Babylonian astronomers were the first to use a modern method to track the path of Jupiter. Here's how they did it. Babylonian astronomers plotted a 60-day portion of Jupiter's path across the sky on a graph with time plotted on one axis and velocity on the other axis. So what is velocity multiplied by time? Exactly a distance. So the final figure that they got looked like a trapezoid, and the area under that curvature is the total distance that Jupiter traveled in 60 days. Mind-boggling, they were way ahead of their time. Number 3. Ancient China With their flourishing history, Ancient China also made important contributions to astronomy. They started observing stars and named them, a record of which has been found on bones buried in the ground. While the European continent experienced the Dark Ages, the thriving civilization in China, as well as those in Arabia and India, achieved major advances in science, astronomy, and medicine. Chinese astronomers recorded 1,600 observations both solar and lunar eclipses from 750 BC. We all may already be familiar with the first observation of Jupiter, this one by Galileo. But according to a recent paper, an ancient Chinese astronomer named Gan De said, there was a small pink star beside the planet Jupiter. We therefore conclude that this is a satellite of Jupiter. It is evident that Gan De had already seen satellites of Jupiter with his naked eyes. He knew about them 2,000 years prior to Galileo. Number 4. Ancient Egypt Just like the other civilization, the Egyptians studied the night sky by taking measurements from the stars. It was to accurately align their pyramids and the sun temples with the Earth's four cardinal points. A great example is the Pyramid of Giza. Ancient Egyptians built huge obelisks, which probably also served as simple clocks. At night, people could estimate the time by observing the moon or by observing the constellations. The origins of our modern clocks can be traced back to ancient Egypt 4,000 years ago. 
they divided daytime and nighttime in 12 equal parts, which is how we got 12 hours for a.m. and p.m. By about 1500 BC, Egyptians had abandoned star clocks in favor of clocks that measured time by the flow of water. These water clocks had the advantage of working, even when the sky was cloudy. Eventually, these water clocks were adopted by many other cultures for timekeeping. Number 5. Ancient Greece The development of astronomy by the Greek and specifically Hellenistic astronomers is considered to be a major phase. Greece gradually rose as a power around 800 BC. It is strategically located at a crossroad for travelers, merchants, and armies. So ancient Greece was the center of diverse ideas, brought together by many cultures. The Greeks used mathematics to prove their predictions, and they didn't only rely on supernatural explanations. One of their most important models was the geocentric model of the universe, which basically means that a spherical Earth was at the center. For over a period of centuries, people believed that idea. One of the reasons was the thought that if Earth was moving around the Sun, they would be observing the stars from different places along the orbit. Well, today we know that the stars are actually much further away than the Greek astronomers estimated. Nevertheless, ancient Greeks made some important contributions which paved the way for modern astronomy. Number 6. The Indian Civilization The Indian astronomy was influenced by the Greeks in the beginning of the 4th century BC. Later, Indian astronomy significantly influenced Arabian, Chinese, and European astronomy. In ancient India, the starting point in regards to astronomy could only be the sacred text Rig Veda. There is some cosmological concepts in the Vedas, like the notion of celestial bodies and the course of the year. The Rig Veda shows that the Indians divided the year into 360 days, and the year was subdivided into 12 months of 30 days. Every five years, two intercalary periods were added to bring the calendar back in line with the solar year. However, the Indian year still migrated four days in every five years, and Indian astronomers constantly tweaked and adjusted their calendars over the millennia. As Plato once said, astronomy compels the soul to look upward and leads us from this world to another. People in ancient civilizations perhaps knew much more than we think they knew. Otherwise, how are they possible to build such fascinating structures like the Pyramid of Giza? These ancient civilizations knew the importance of studying this matter and laid the foundation for modern astronomy. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Harry and I'm so glad you made it to the end. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. If you want to, follow us on Instagram at Beyond Ideas. I'll see you again next week for more curiosity videos. Bye-bye.